Welcome. Oh, welcome wait, back to the PlayStation. Annapurna? I don't know why it's Annapurna. Yeah, wait, do you know them? I, I, oh yeah, oh, no, yeah, they, 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 they did. Uh, these guys are the one, the team that that's made Abzu. Giant squid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hello, giant the team squid. That, from the team that brought us Abzu, uh, they decided to create a new game called The Pathless. Uh, it's a, it, this is a game that is available on PlayStation 4, I believe, and PlayStation 5. Are those the only consoles it's on? Let me look it up. Well, considering, and I have the time to do that. that Sony were the ones that flaunt it, and I think they more or less hold the rights to this IP currently. I assume it's only on the PS4 and PS5. Oh, it is. I think it's also available. It says it's also available on Microsoft Windows, but I don't oh, know so, if that's oh, so on Wikipedia. Steam, probably. Maybe? Let me look it up. Uh, oh, it's also... Oh, no, it's on Epic Game Store. Uh, Oops. Mm. And, it'll, you know, it'll probably move somewhere else. But, regardless, I'm doing this live, which is why I had time to do that. So let's just get right into this. So, yeah, what can you tell us about The Pathless, Logan? The Pathless, from what I've been playing, uh, is almost like a light version of Shadow of the Colossus. It, ha it carries many uh, similar themes between that and Breath of the Wild, maybe. So, okay, let's get to the plot. So, there's a curse that is spreading from an ancient island near the edge of the world, and many have gone to that isle to try and stop the curse, which is spreading an eternal darkness across the land. None have returned. The last hunter, that being us, uh, have gone to that island to reclaim the light and, you know, bring peace to the world. Of course. Um, and that's where we come in. Sounds simple and to the point. And wow. Look at that spr darkness spread far. It's hello, pretty. Yeah, so hello, uh, back top, d desktop screen. <laughs> yep, uh, and that, that that is a giant floating island that we're going to have to contend with. So this is where this isle of which the name the name escapes me. Uh, by the end, yeah, to, uh, to James, Hype, and Matt, if, if the volume ever gets to be too much, just let me know. Will do. Will do. Will do. All right, but so far it's okay. So that's us, the Huntress, I would rather be referred to as. But uh, we are going to try and get to the bottom of this whole epidemic that is spreading from this island. And Would uh, you say it's a whole pandemic? ho hi ha hi ho Heidi ho And so the Huntress makes her journey. Yep. Uh, not much we can do just yet. Like, this is just to show us base uh, movement. Uh, so, yeah, so if anyone has ever looked up or seen anything related to this game, easily I would say the movement is one of the main things Holy that shit. has. Well, like, first, we got jumps. Well, well, first and foremost, she's got, definitely got Hunter beat in terms of, you know, acrobatics. I yeah, I about say, that's a really high jump. She, or, excuse me, did I, say, did I say Hunter? I meant to say Wander. It's no, fine. She, Wander, she yeah. does jump high, but the problem is it looks like she falls like a fucking rock. Yep, which is why we will get uh, we'll get some upgrades uh, throughout the game. So, another big upgrade we get is we have the sprint meter. Oh. In order to fill up our sprint meter, hit these targets, and you also get a boost of speed every time we do this. Nice. And uh, don't worry, the game's gonna litter them all over the place for us to make the most of uh, our you know agility. Uh oh. Is he okay? Looks like he's Easy. enjoying a nice dirt nap. Oh no! Well, he's fortunately he's he's only mostly dead, not actually all the way dead. We can, we can... Kind of amusing that Oop. most of his body looks like it's comprised of uh, lava. Yeah, that so that tower, so yeah, those towers are what are corrupting this thing. That's well, something interesting. Like his eyes blink sideways. <laughs> well, yeah. It's I'll think, birds. Do birds blink? Do do birds blink like that? I'm fairly certain they do. Yeah. Huh. That's one. Well, I've so, yeah. just never seen a bird blink, so... That's fair. So, those not-jiggies are how we uh, <laughs> are going to be going to these towers throughout the area. Uh, there it. are... I will be right back. Alrighty. No worries. So, are we getting jiggy with I'm... it? No. Never. na 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 Well, I will say, first and foremost, having those uh, floating spirit thingies up there does really alleviate the fact that you are a little person in a pretty big world from the looks of it. Yeah. Uh, here's another big upgrade we've just gotten. Spirit Vision. Ooh. A.K.A. Batman is... Arkham Mode. Oh my god, yeah. This is basically detective mode. This will allow us to... Uh, this will allow us to see when... Uh, there, the triangle to activate it. This will allow us to see uh, interactable objects like this, which will tell us some story. And uh, for plot purposes... 
it'll also show us where the towers are that we need to go and purify. No matter where you go, the towers will be there to haunt your mind. Spare Mask allows us to see the cracks in the world, but he cautioned those who wear the mask will never see the world in the same way again. Ah, who cares? We can go through walls now with it. Ah, uh, so it's one of those, it's one of those, wear for too long. It, what, is this going to be a, one, another one of those, um, what's his name, uh, Nauman situations, where the more he uses that, where you, the more you use that thing, the more it starts to warp your perception to the point where it permanently damages your psyche? Possibly. I... I don't think, uh, fortunately, I actually don't think they, they never actually go into that into detail. Like I can use it, I could have it on the whole damn time, and they would, uh, they would never get mad at me. Except uh, the reason why I don't have it on is because it actually slows down my movement. Ah, uh, okay. So there is at least some trade off. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I guess to catch you. Oh crap. Uh, to catch up to speed, hype. We just got ourselves a Batman's detective vision. Ah. Uh, except Let's me, uh, unlike see with where... a Batman's detective vision, if Batman decided to walk the entire time he had on. <laughs> oh yes, I mean, they stand he perfectly can. still when he's using that. No, no, I meant, like, walk as in, like, only walk. Eagle Mother and something known as the God Slayer. God so, Slayer. Some, so, oh, yeah, shit, so Bowser's been in town. Man. Oh, boy. That's, oh, my gosh. Actually, you say that, that now that you put it like, now that you say that, oh, my God, some of the elements in Bowser's Fury uh, remind me of some of the elements in this game, at least in terms of, like, the enemies and how we have to move around. So, oh, that's boy. one. I can hardly wait. Oh, and and if anyone's wondering about how the Amy in this work, Amy in this game works, it is very much just the second you see a reticle pop up, doesn't care like how far or how weird it is, so long as there isn't an object in your way. If you can fill up the beater all the way, uh, you're gonna hit. It, it is okay, what, that's pretty it sweet. It is what I shall call Hitman briefcase Oops. syndrome. Yeah, I was about to say because yeah. it's like with I love the video that Logan showed us where it's like just. He just follows the guy just on the... chasing that guy. Okay. Ah, need another one of those, uh, those, um, idols. Actually, I want to ask, yep. was it, was it Logan that showed us that, or did you show it, Matt? It, it was me, it after is, the donkey video. It is Logan, but sure. I had, uh, but I, I thought I showed it to you guys years ago, but it is oh, fucking it, hilarious. Oh, yeah, and there you go. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about running out, because actually the way these things work is that if I shoot one... Go over there and hold it. I said if, if I, I shoot, shoot this one. thing... It gets all like hurt and deactivated, Ow. but after a while it will uh, break off and then hold on just a moment. Don't prove me wrong. It will game. respawn. There you go. So yeah, you that never, hurt you, you know. To... Ow! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, he's always such a kidder. I came as a pilgrim to seek guidance from the tall ones. Those being the gods. Path is only good. The path is only good as long as you walk it. Now I am content to just sit. Oh uh, uh, no! Content. It seems like we're pretty pathless. I'm not gonna lie, you, when I first read Ah uh, Contentment, I almost misread that as Ah uh, Condiment. The Condiment and came... Matt, and, and I was gonna say, Matt, please, the game's already gonna do that enough with its... The game's not so subtle with why it's called this game. Th don't worry, the game's not gonna be very subtle about why it's called the Pathless. So, Cause you gotta make now, your own path. One, for now, just one more tower left, and um, for now, it's only needing one uh, Jiggy per tower but by the no, later no, stages no, we, no, we, no, we will no. need multiple per tower so i will say right off the bat like i definitely remember even like when this game this game was first shown off at a state of play like the whole the, the, the mobility option you have with this whole you know run it run an arrow sort of sort of system is pretty dang slick it really like i was i mem i remember it was like i was worried how, how this was run going on to ps4 by the way would you say uh, i never tried it out I have not tried it out, but I, I would argue the most you would, the worst you'd have would be maybe lower texture image. I feel like it still runs at a solid 60 frames. Um, maybe. I'll have to look that up later, because that's, I, I, unfortunately, I am still one of those plebs that's stuck with a base PS4 system. Whereas I have What's a PS4? Uh, What's a PS4? Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, no, I, I remember when honestly, this game was Honestly, honestly, you say that, I could honestly go as far as to say, What's a PS5? Yeah. Well, is, that lo is, that, is it that so lost nectar? Is it no? But it's like, is it that lost nectar of the gods that I can't seem to find anywhere? No one can find the gods. There's no longer a man. If he ever was, if something more and something less. So he's no, he's he, he's uh, he's become not human. Uh, but it's like, yeah, when Would they you first say announced that this he's game, the same, more or less. <laughs> so, <laughs> this game, I remember when they first announced this game. I thought, okay, how are they going to make archery? 
the entire way interesting, and I think this is how they do it. Literally, it, 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 to some degree, you could say they make it interesting by making you not focus on the archery. It's this also funny all, too like, because, automated. unless I'm mistaken, apparently, like real professional archery is more or less similar to this, and the fact that you're not even supposed to, you know, keep it steady for too long. Oh yeah, no, because yeah, yeah the, because you'll also break the. That, that's why it, that's why in almost every game with a bow and arrow, like if you keep it held for too long, you have to release it eventually because a, it's a strain on your muscle, and b, you're putting excess strain on the bow. So use these switches. Open the switch. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of um, what's it? Uh, okay, uh, honestly, ah, what, tree. one of my favorite games that uses bow and arrows is uh, the Far Cry games, Far Cry three and four in particular. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I will say, you know, I would have loved to completed uh, Far Cry 4, but, you know, uh, apparently the game just fucking breaks at a certain point on PS4. Aww. Yeah, not even okay, joking. So... Like, I, after I got my PS4 Pro and re-downloaded the game and re- got my save file. I don't know what fucking black magic kept on to that save file, but it just doesn't work anymore. That's so weird. It, oh, okay, and, from, and what we learned from that lore tab was that, yeah, the Eagle Mother was basically the god of this land and, like, was the one who created life I'm or fairly certain something that's the giant eagle we saw earlier. Pro most likely. And we gotta save the Eagle Mother. And with that, uh, we've already taken out the first three uh, towers. Yeah, this is definitely like this game's like prologue to teach you the mechanics, and we have to heal her. And uh, yeah, because her nest has been taken over. That's what in all of the production material. That's what that weird, massive like, like rock floating in the sky is. Is it was an island that the Eagle Mother resided in, known as the Nest. Where is it? There it is. Well, it's clearly so, up there. So we're gonna have to go there eventually. But uh, for you now, are still here. Yes, they're always here. <laughs> I, I I actually don't know what I actually don't think they have an in, an in universe explanation for what these things are, but I'm very thankful for them. I yeah, think that's, we that's could just call them target fodder. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, you say there's no in store. You say there's no in universe explanation. I argue. Whoa! Does wait a minute. Be <laughs> Hang on. Wait a minute. I missed something. Oh, there was like a lore tab up there. And unfortunately, <laughs> unlike say unlike say Link, you can't qu exactly climb on walls. Oh, wow. No, we 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 can get uh, something that's like Rivali's Gale later. Ooh. Also, you're saying, uh, Steve. I was saying, like, you say that there's no in-game explanation as to what these targets are. My argument is, does there need to be? Question is, who cares? <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's fair. I mean, if you look hard enough, you might find an explanation. But for now, it's just convenience. Anyway, I shall heal you by using the prayer dance thing. Be free. <laughs> just literally, just literally um, levitates the evil out of her system. You know, I, I really like that, like, kind of fluorescent glowing blue that it has. It looks real pretty. It does. <laughs> like, it's, 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 she'll see the scars. Kick some ass, Eagle Mother. Oh. Go well, save the world, Eagle Mother. Uh, 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 oh, she, she died. So, could you give us some insight on what we missed out on earlier? Oh, that lore tablet up there? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> bless, bless you. you. They're not gonna. Well, I can say right. Bless you. Bless you. Excuse me. Well, I can tell you. Well, I can tell you right now that don't worry. Like, there aren't. There isn't gonna be any huge. Like, oh my gosh. Like, this all makes more. This all doesn't make any sense at all. Like, if there's any, I will do my best to find as much of the lore as I can to explain what's happening. Because there are certain areas I can go to to like. This game is very similar to um, eh, Dark Souls or. Something like that, where like the the plot isn't going to be directly like force fed to you, at least in terms of the exposition. Would you so say this is you have the to find Dark Souls of archery games? <laughs> if that target wasn't there, I would have been aiming this right at the camera, but I can't. Uh, the the game the game actually will not let you draw your bow unless there is a target within range. So anyway, um, I, I love that. Just real quick, you you make that. I know what you meant by that. It's like if there was a target there, I just aim this at the camera. But here's the thing: since there's multiple of us watching it, you run the risk of either hitting one of us aside from Matt or hitting all of us. And the audience. No, but no. So, um, there, there's not going to be any, L like, Logan, oh my gosh, kill me, but, kill me, but spare the audience. 
uh, there, yeah, to answer your question, James, we didn't miss anything. Basically, so far, all we know about this land is that something known as the Eagle Mother uh, was what created it all. There she is. Hi. Hello. What's up? Hello. And uh, we need to figure out from her how we can, uh, you know, reverse the corruption. We don't want the darkness to be spreading everywhere. Nice to meet you. No. I've never had a pet bird, Time but I can. Oh, hey, Troy. Uh oh. A Troy. Oh. The hell? That's Laura. Okay, I can oh, definitely I can hear definitely Laura there. And yeah, they're all speaking a made-up language. Oh. oh. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, he blocked it. Oh! oh thank you, Ow. Phantom Ganon. He does kind of look like a Phantom Ganon. I can definitely see that design fitting in Zelda somewhere. Yeah, no, it looks like a, uh... Oh. Ah, shit. Oh, no, not corrupting the bird. Honestly, not going to lie, he kind of looks like a, uh, Ganon minion villain. Kind of, yeah. Maybe. Like, he actually does... Like, I, I know you made the comparison for, like, Breath of the Wild. He does look like... Like some kind of like demon that Yiga would be clan. working for the Eagle Clan. And here they're doing something very similar to Prince of Egypt, where the Eagle Mother is voiced by Laura Bailey as well. I mean, yeah, if, if I'm not mistaken, those are the only two people that actually voice act in this game, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Laura and Troy. We have the extra the budget for voice actors. Who should we get? Why don't we get the two most prominent voice actors ever? Okay. I thought I thought I thought you were gonna say we have a budget for a hand lore. So the gods of this land, the lizard, the That's a lizard. Ugly lizard. Uh, lizard. An, an uglier lizard. Oh no no, that was the, the deer. Snakes. That was the deer. The lizard, the deer, the snake, and the bear. That's a That's bear. That looks like a turtle. Trust, it gets yeah, trust me, they're they're monstrous. We need to cleanse their spirits. And, and Angel go to the floating isles. Days. And rid the world of the evils. That so that basically is our um you know, Shadow the Colossus esque thing. Instead of sixteen, we only have four. Ain't that nice? I mean that combined with the fact that we Wait, can literally six, blaze through this Sixteen, Logan? What happened to seventeen? I don't know. And also, yeah, so those wondering like so left to right, that was the bear, but his head fell off. Let's feel sorry for him. Oh. There's this there's the lizard over there, the bird eagle mother. The deer, uh, and the snake. Hey, sure why do we? Hey, here. why do we have human bodies? I don't know Egyptian lore. Oh, I guess. Well, looky, check it's this out. Burb. It's another burb. He's a good burb. It's your burb. I'm Will. I will name you Franklin. <laughs> pet the yes, ladies and gentlemen, pet you are allowed eagle. to pet the eagle, assuming uh, the yeah. eagle will let you. In fact, as we're gonna see later, it's actually a very core mechanic. Uh, come on. No. Oh, because you see here, it's oh. still corrupted. And this uh -oh. is where petting the eagle is actually required. We need to pet it to cleanse some of that corruption off. <laughs> Let's just wipe oh. all of that dust off. Let's I like how it coughed, off. it coughed the corruption out of its mouth. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. Get that. Good thing it's not contagious. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, dear, dear little one. deer. Get, get that corruption out of you. Be free! Okay, so... So Franklin here is going to assist us what? in many ways in this game. I'm calling him Franklin. So Franklin is going Why? to help us in throughout this entire game because I get to do that. I'm his mother now. He it's not like the game. Me. It's something the game gives you. It gives an outright name to the the eagle. So make your own. He imprinted on me. That's the rules. I get to name him. His name is Franklin. Let's go, Franklin. Huzzah! Really? Cause so, you look like a Heather to me. To me. Never oh. I was now, just quoting something, but okay. Oh, I know. Now, the good news about how Franklin can help us is that uh, we, for some weird reason, we are not too strong. But Franklin is strongest burb. Really? Go. He's strong burb. What? Like so Franklin say, will basically be how we move what? most little objects like this. Look at him and go. Release him. Well, I up. mean, he was just, well, was he born from a god or is he just reincarnated? The game is very... I'm going to assume reincarnation. Vague on that for now. But okay. it, by, by the end... I'll whatever you want it real. to be. The truth will be revealed! Damn it. Uh, oh, I I can, oh that switch is active, though. 
Or, frankly, get it. Yes, mama. Cool. Alright, then I'll move you over here. And in terms of, like, how to direct the bird, I really can't. Uh, it's really, it's, but he is very good at telling, like, if I'm standing by a switch, then he Who's knows, oh, I should bird? move over near that Who's switch. Who's a smart bird? You're a smart bird. I am. Yeah. I, I'm a smart bird. Yes, Can I have a uh, snack? No. And for those one, and for those wondering, like the game, the game isn't even all that uh, claustrophobic. Like this is probably the most we're gonna be in like closed indoors settings. Like most of this game is out in the open, solving little puzzles. This is just introducing the mechanics to us. All right. Um, so while we're doing this, uh, what do you guys think so far? I, I mean, like it. It's pretty, and I do. Again, I do like the fast-paced nature of it. Oh, mm -hmm. what's wrong, Franklin? Oh, get go. It's too dark in there. I saw uh, Roach. I don't like Roach. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it's just that ticked off by roaches specifically. I have one. I have told you, I have one policy. I know like roach. I, I love the, the animations I... on the eagle, actually. And I and I do like the, the animations on the the huntress or hunter as well. Like it's it's very um, how to put it? It's like it's a, it's it's surprisingly very expressive considering we never see her mouth. It's only her eyes that we see like moving and stuff. Well, the, the eyes, eyes are, are the most, the most expressive. Of... Yeah. Right. All right. Let's turn off that damn incense burning. <laughs> Some of us like to breathe, Seriously. including the bird. So that's how. So now we yes. can. Franklin needs yeah. his oxygens. Basically, yeah. That and honestly, that's actually how this works. In in heavily dark darkened areas, Franklin is, for some reason, affected by that for no <laughs> plot convenience whatsoever. I bet. Again, and, you, you um, didn't notice how he was encrusted in darkness earlier. That is true. So this is the area we will be going. This this is basically we only see it this one time, but I think it's cool. This is a basically a, a little map of the whole island. It's a diorama. So we'll, yep. So we start. I would here. say you, I will say you should memorize all that, but the PS5 has a nifty feature that should hopefully let you save all that in a jiffy. I want it's called a one. screenshot. Yeah. So also, hey, first we'll be starting off in the forest plateau. Yes. Uh, Redwood Shh. Step, the domain of salt. <laughs> it's only a model. Uh, Great Plains, the domain of Nimu. And then we go up a giant mountain. This is be this is this entire wow. tundra area. Wow, going up that mountain was very fast. Tundra. I thought it'd take longer. Then <laughs> we climb up, and thus we reach a floating isle, the island of Eagle Mother, which stretches apparently into the heavens. Makes sense. So, and where's that right. over there? Oh, that's just Arkansas. And we don't talk about that place. Um, it is a silly place. No, I'm fine. It's okay. So <laughs> way to insult, to way to insult our Arkansas viewers if we have any. I know a couple of people, and they've all told me that Arkansas Franklin is a bit of a silly you? place. Yes, because our because he can, but only oh. like a glide for now. That's wow, heavy. you must be really fucking heavy if you know he can lift the uh, lift those blocks easier Holders. than you. I mean, to be fair, there's also a matter of force and inertia. That is true. Oh, let's keep at it. Does, um, okay, does so, four birds talent no good? Uh, now, there are going to be times like this where we are going to have him put that down. Not Dude. on me, thank you. <laughs> that that was my here. foot. Now go pick it back up. Let's go. Come on, Franklin. Rise. And again, like he, he, he has very he has pretty decent pathing, and he'll know where to go. All right, we're almost out of this. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. We're almost out of this tutorial here. There we go. Updrafts. Ooh, an upward waterfall. A Franklin's best friend. <laughs> hey, Franklin, and have you ever too. seen Breath of the Wild? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's what I would have said if I did not have Franklin with me. Just kidding, Fox. Let's go. If Ollie's Gale is ready, <laughs> have fun. Oh, damn you. And, uh, there, and there is no stamina while we're in live mode. Ollie's Gale. This. <laughs> Ravali's Gale is ready. Got it. Dipshit's Gale is ready. Hey! Also, I did not say where's that. Where's the stamina major for the burb again? There is none. nothing. There is oh, none. I thought you said there uh, was. No, he said no, there isn't. There, there is no stamina meter. There is no stamina meter while gliding, and we can all we can also. Oh, uh, that's clever. Do that. But That's only clever. only during this, uh, I'll sh there is a mechanic in this game that'll allow us to. So the, hang on. Ha. the um, again like the I think is inertia the word I want to I'm searching for like I yeah like it's, how, it's, I think it's inertia. I like how that works. Okay, so here is this game's mechanic: is there are collectible coins. Chaos and drives. If you, collect them, if you collect if you collect enough of them, you get an extra life. We get a Revali scale. Nice. So, 
every time we get every time we fill up that meter and defeat a boss, uh, we can press jump again while in, in midair to get a little boost. Huh. And that's um, how we ascend. Not quite as flashy as I thought it'd be, but still more still helpful all the same. Yep. Uh, and then it does refresh when you like land on the ground oh. again. And uh, oh, okay, so you can actually get more of these. Yeah, so that is awesome, actually. Says so you can do multiple in midair and keep a combo going for as long as you need. Uh, the Jesus only other thing I will say is, is, come on, ah, oh, nice, made it. Is that um, we'll also learn later. I'm gonna try my best not to lose any, but so. It is possible in an upcoming section, because we've just made it to the deer's domain, mm. uh, in this next area, um, if I, it is possible to lose progress in your experience bar. I don't, not, it's not like right now, since I actually have, you know, since I actually have the, um, the one, the, the flap already, since I already have that unlocked, that is, I, I keep that forever, but if I'm making progress towards the second, it is possible to lose some progress in terms of like if I if I take damage during something that's going to happen uh, up ahead. If I fail a challenge that's to come up ahead, um, I'm gonna try my best not to. And I also don't believe it's what possible that? to the hell. I also don't believe it's possible to like lock yourself out of collecting all of them. Sarnos. Usar, no god. That would be the deer. Uh, oh it's been dear. corrupted though. Shush. It's been it's been heavily corrupted though. And so from now on, and here so every just, time and here we see so, what happens when Evatol and Zerneas does the fusion dance. And I was so thinking, this is just real quick, it's like, look out for that deer. Look out for what, honey? 